Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a rainbow charcuterie fruit summer platter. <laughs> So in the summer, I feel like there's a lot of hanging out outside, a lot of patio gatherings. Everyone's always in the backyard or on the balcony. And I just feel like in the summer, I'm so much more of like a picker versus a sit down and eat a full meal type of person. I'm always trying to think of a snack or something that I can put out for people when they come over. I'm over chips and just like these easy sort of things. I love platters. They're really, really easy and simple to do. They often appeal to a lot of different people as well. I love charcuterie boards but I, I wanted to do something that was more summer themed, more refreshing and something that's really simple. Something that you can slice up in two seconds that is gonna appeal to everyone, that's gonna be refreshing for when it's really hot outside. And so I thought of a fruit platter, but not just any fruit platter, cause that's kind of like a little bit of a cop out in my opinion as well. Cause anyone can just like go to the store and just buy a fruit platter. And I mean, that's great, but I would rather cut my own fruit. I just feel like it's fresher. And I want to do more of like a rainbow ombre charcuterie type of board because I don't know, I think it'll just look pretty. It'll add that extra sort of oomph to the snacks that you're looking for. And it's also like a very nice sort of way to present your snacks to people when they come over. And like I mentioned, refreshing, summer themed, it just hits all the boxes. So that's what I'm gonna make for you guys today. To start off, I just have a very plain white plastic platter. Um, so this is literally from the dollar store, okay? It's, I think it was $1.25. And the reason why I'd recommend something like this is because you can have it in your backyard and if you know it falls over no big deal but the other thing is you can also bring this to people's houses it looks very nice it's not like a tin foil type of plastic like throwaway thing but then if you leave it there who cares because it was a dollar from the dollar store so this is what I'm gonna be using today and then I obviously have just like a cutting board um, a knife and a little thingy to wash all of my fruit with and what I decided I would do is literally just the rainbow. So I did Roy G. Biv, which is like red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet. It's tough to find indigo and violet fruits, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but I do have some blue to sort of hit the end of the rainbow, but I'm really gonna do my best to ombre it out and just make it look very beautiful and summery and fresh. The fruits that I have today, and I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, I'm just gonna sort of wing it as I go here, but the fruits that I have are uh, some sliced up watermelon, I have some strawberries, which I hear also if you put your strawberries in a jar, they last longer, so that's why they're in this jar right here. I have a pineapple, as you guys can see. I have some kiwi, I have an orange, a peach, a mango, some bananas and some blueberries. I'm hoping that that sort of hits most of the colors of the rainbow. Now I'm just gonna sort of cut it all up and organize it and make it look very pretty and simple. So I think to start, I'm gonna wash my blueberries so they're ready to go. And they can now dry while I cut up the rest of the fruit because I don't want there to be too much water on the board because there's already gonna be a lot of fruit juice. All right, so rainbows start with red. So I'm gonna start with my red fruits first. This watermelon has already been sort of sliced, but I'm just going to take the rind off and like arrange it nicely. The great thing about a board like this too is that you can always decide how many people you, like if it's just you and one other person, you can, you know, cut down on your portions, but if it's gonna be you and a bunch of people, then you can do like a whole watermelon or, you know, you can, it's very, very easy to like up and down your ratios. I'm gonna keep it a little small and simple for this time around because it's my first time making it and I also don't wanna like overcrowd the board too much. So I have some watermelon and some strawberries for my red portion. I'm next gonna cut my orange, but I do have mangoes and peaches to see what they look like inside because these are kind of always like, you never really know the color. And then I might rearrange so we can really ombre that rainbow down the board. But the orange I know is gonna be orange, so I'm gonna go with that next. A board like this is also great for people who aren't 
overly creative with cutting because that's me <laughs> and I just cut things in like regular little slices. I'm not doing any like, I've seen some beautiful boards that things are all cut up in like shapes in these beautiful designs and we're just gonna keep it simple today because I do not have those skills to share with you guys. <laughs> I think I'm gonna chop up a mango next because mangoes obviously tend to be like orangey yellowy. So I think I'm gonna drag the orange sort of into the yellow with a mango. I also don't eat mango very often so I don't even know how to, I'm supposed to cut one of these. I know people like square it up and stuff, but I'm gonna just sort of see what happens when I cut it open. All right, so I'm having difficulty with the mango. <laughs> okay, well that's convenient. <laughs> the uh, skin came off, but I th this is just still sort of stuck to the pit. I'm not sure why. Okay, mangoes, I've just learned are really hard to cut. Maybe like prepare for that <laughs> before you cut your own. Or if you don't care what the pieces look like, then it doesn't matter. I don't really care too much. I'm going more for color over cut. But um, yeah, this, is, uh, this was a bit of a challenge for me, not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna go with the peach as well because I'm just, sort of seeing how this is ombreing out and I think the peach could add a, a nice little touch. So now that I've cut open this peach, I've noticed that it's a little bit more of like a pinky orange. Peaches I feel like are like, you know, you just never know until you cut them open. So I'm gonna go back and just add these more of a garnish right after the watermelon because they have a bit of red in it. So I think that's gonna transition better to the orange on that part of things. You can also show the skin part facing up if you want to like just utilize a different part of the fruit. I have the row in Roy, uh, red and orange. I'm now gonna move on to yellow. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a banana or not. I was thinking I might just stick to pineapple, but we'll see. We might use some of the banana as a garnish. We're gonna, I'm gonna do the pineapple as the main fruit, see what it looks like on the board, and then see if I need banana or not afterwards. So I'm just slicing my pineapple literally like this and uh, sort of laying it down in fingers and hoping that it just looks good enough. So because we have the mango and the pineapple, I think I'm going to skip banana for now and move into the green section, but I might go back with banana afterwards like I mentioned to garnish. Okay, I'm gonna move on to kiwi now. So I'm in the green section of the board. I was thinking of using green grapes also, but I think kiwis are just more exotic looking and have a nicer, deeper green color. So that's why I decided to stick with kiwis. The way I cut kiwi is sometimes I actually take a carrot shredder thingy and take the skin off that way. But I think right now I'm just gonna cut it because it just might be easier. And I'm going to do little circles. Okay, and last but not least, I have my blueberries for the blue section of the rainbow. And it's kind of looking really nice because I'm doing like an angled sort of style. And so I think the blueberries are just gonna sort of finish it off uh, very nicely. So this is the final board. Um, as you can see, I did it on an angle because I just thought that that would be pretty. So what you could do is either garnish here and there. You could either put napkins here or there, you could put drinks here or there, or if you wanted to, you could fill up the board um, completely. It's up to you. I made a smaller one because I decided to make one for just like one or two people. But like I mentioned, you could do it for, you know, 10 people if you wanted and just like really stretch out each of the colors and just add more fruit. I decided to put the strawberries first because they're a darker red, then the watermelon's like a lighter red. So I went strawberries, watermelon, peaches, oranges, mango, pineapple, kiwi, blueberries. So this board is so simple, so easy. You can easily take this outside of the backyard. It looks beautiful, it takes no time to make, and it's just something more interesting than like a bowl of chips or just like a regular sort of fruit platter that you bought from the store. It's pretty, it's like an art piece, and um, it's also very pregnancy friendly, which is nice because uh, as I've mentioned to you guys a lot in a lot of my videos, I've been craving a lot of fruit, and a lot of pregnant women that I've talked to have also craved a lot of fruit during their pregnancy. And with a regular charcuterie board, there's a lot of stuff on there that we're not supposed to eat, like deli meats and salami and like certain cheeses and stuff like that. So this is like a really nice, refreshing board that everyone can eat, pregnant or not, and uh, something perfect to hang out with by the pool and have during the day, even at night. Just like an easy, simple, beautiful snack. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me trying new things twice a week, please subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram for more.